What's up, everybody? Uh, here we go. Uh, we're going to talk about cleaning the shoe. And just recently got this in. If you saw my other video, um, I advised Soul Survivor Detroit, and I told him I wanted to do uh, a cleaning of this shoe. And he's like, cool, let's go ahead and do that. So here we are, some areas we're going to focus in on back here on the heel area of the left shoe the toe box area and then here on the outside panel and then on the right shoe here on the inside so we're going to get into this I'm going to use the Jason Mark and also I use this Mr. Clean pad and you know when you drive and you have that little heel drag uh, when you drive your car so we're gonna try to get this area cleaned also so we're gonna jump off into it this is stuff I, I call magic it's been magic for me you know you take it and you dip your brush in your water I move the shoe so you can see it and you put a little bit on here once you dip that in, you take your brush, and then you just start cleaning the shoe. And if you start to see it suds up, and if it's not enough suds for you, go ahead and add some more. And always get as much water off as you can, and you want it to suds up. You know, and I said, I want, really want to do the whole toe box area of the shoe. Then you just take a towel and dry it off. And you should see that there is no more dirt in that toe box area. Okay, that's the right shoe. Now we're going to go on the left. And as I told you back here in the back where it looks like someone may have stepped on his heel or the previous owner's heel, we're going to go ahead, still have the suds on your brush. So, then when you think you have it clean, you just take your towel and wipe it. And if it's not, you just go back to doing what you do. And it's coming. And there it is. You can see where it gets a little bit dirty. I usually use this magic eraser. On that part, you just dip it in your water, wring it out, and it just starts to come right off. Not much work at all with the magic eraser. All right, sneaker peeps, this is how I do it. This is how I clean my shoes using this product. Jason Mark, which I call magic. Uh, it's truly been magic for me and a lot of other sneaker heads that use it. And this is what the shoes look like after being cleaned. I'm going to show you a little something at the end. I just did on one of the shoes and I'll show you the other on the outsole. So I cleaned all the toe box and look at where the dirt was from, you know, when you drive and pressing on the gas, pressing on the brake or whatever, and you always had that little dirt up under here. It's all gone in the back. So make sure you check it out at jasonmark.com. And also what I did, I'm sure you can tell which one 
was cleaned with Jason Mark using the hard brush. And you just get up in the cracks and crevices and uh, go ahead and clean them. And one thing I want you to see right quick, I did a little cleaning on one of the Bordeaux. Can you tell which one it was? The right? Or the left. And the right. I'll answer it, or Soul Survivor Detroit to answer it in the video. You should be able to tell which one it was, and I'll be right back. It's time for the evening word. The evening word. The problem is not that there are problems. The problem is expecting otherwise and thinking that having problems is a problem. You might have to rewind that and listen to it one more time. It's a deep word. Peace.